Hello there, my lovelies. Today I'm going to be revamping this lamp. So I bought this lamp from a supermarket and it was pretty cheap. And I wanted to make it a bit more jazzy. So Here I have some craft tape which you can buy a lot of arts and craft supply stores in various colours and I don't know if you can see, it's kind of semi see through. So it's like masking tape but it's sticky and this one has a really cool starry pattern on it so I want to put this lamp in uh, the bedroom and I thought this would be really effective so also makes some very cool sounds so start with. If you want to try this at home, you're going to need a lamp first of all, um, a rounded shade like this one is the best to do it on because it's a lot easier trying to mould your tape around rather than a cone-like um, shade. Also, if you're going to try this at home, You'll want thin tape. You don't want to use duct tape because the uh, plastic-like quality to it will probably warp or melt in the heat of a lamp. Um, typically, little lamps like this one shouldn't get too hot, so I don't have to worry too much about my tape um, warping um, as it's quite far away from the actual bulb inside. Okay, so to start with, I'm just going to move you closer and I'm going to start from the top and work my way down. So, I'm trying to press firmly as I go and I want it as close to the top of the shade as possible. I'm just going to slowly guide it round, making sure that I press as I go. Okay. Just that. You want to take your time with this. Okay, so I'll just turn you around. I'm almost at the point of meeting with the other piece of tape. So Tightly bring that round. I'm going to grab a pair of scissors. And before I seal the end, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of glue. In there just to reinforce it. You can use double-sided tape or sticky pads if you wish. So that's one side done. Now 
very important point. Depending on what pattern you're using to uh, cover your shade in, this one is very random so the dots are sort of all over the place. So when I layer it up, you won't be able to see the join and the pattern won't be ruined. However, if you have, say, a checkerboard pattern or stripes or something that you need to make sure um, that the pattern matches up, otherwise it could look haphazard and the effect won't be quite as dramatic. So just remembering when you go to buy your craft tape, look very carefully for patterns um, that um, will match up properly. So again, I'm going to find my join, take my tape and press it and butt it up against the first part of the tape and carry around again. And again, pressing firmly on my shade. I'm just going to drag it around. back a little so I can realign it. So you can see the pattern starting to come out and it looks really cool. I'm going to carry on around my shade and finish it down to the bottom. So I will see you in a few moments. So I've covered the entire outside with the paper and I just pick it up you can see how cool that looks with my little stars for some extra glow you could put glow in the dark paint on some of the stars you wanted to. But the beauty of this paper is that it is semi-see-through so when I turn the lamp on it will still have a little bit of light showing through it. As always I will post pictures at the end of the video so you guys can get a better look at the lamp completed. So uh, this was a very short and simple video, but I hope you enjoyed it all the same. And I shall see you again in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>